want to <laughs> facing down just put the you know have an opening there however you put the towel as long as it's comfortable that's the main thing oh it feels so private in here yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then just oh fuck me and oh that feels nice yeah. <laughs> Oh, so just a bit of general. Yeah, bring it. Oh, bring yeah. <laughs> it. Right. So big toe sacrum band. He's pretty tight in here. And again, clicking those vertebrae around the heart chakra, just opening that energy up. We can, you know, gently come in here with our elbow. And again, you can see I'm. This saves my hands, but I'm not using all my body weight, okay? Because I don't want to go too hard on him. I could if he needed it, but he doesn't need it that hard. And I'm just resting my elbow on a tight spot over here. But again, just getting, this is more, yeah, he's really, he's really tight in, in his hips, you know? But again, I'm not gonna get everything out in one go. Just wanna have a feel around. What do you reckon about my Achilles? That's what I intuit is the worst in my whole body, is my Achilles. I might be totally wrong. Your Achilles band? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I've seen a lot worse. Oh, this one's worse. This one's quite tight, I could play. Guitar on that and get you yoga or something. <coughs> this one's not not. <coughs> okay. I mean, you're tight, like no doubt about it. You're tight in all of all these bands in your leg, you know. Um, you know, and, and and like I say, the next treatment I would do more specific stuff. Like these toes feel really tight. And yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> Again, same page. He's agreeing with me. You know. Otherwise, I could say, "Could you feel this?" But he's like, you know. Yeah. Or I can just say. Your toes feel really tight, and he's like, "Yeah." So, and we can do a bit of, you know, opening out his ankles like fucking hardly moves for a young for a young guy. It's pretty fucked, you know. <laughs> That's a technical term, yeah. you know? but he's really tight in here. But again, I'm just sort of giving him an idea of what even in here I call these treasure troves. <laughs> these do lead into, you know, I think you're, yeah, definitely. And they, in reflexology, relate to our reproductive organs, sexuality, and stuff like that. So there's some, definitely, ah. yeah. But in this one, like I said, I'm not going to get him any other one. I just want to give him a bit of an idea where he's tight so that, you know, and you hope that he wants to come back and get rid of it. Right? So because he's got, you know, enough to keep you going for quite a few treatments, right? Um, yeah. Thank you. I could do more on his face. I could finish him up right now, but I could do a little bit more on his face. Okay. Do you know what? Why are you supposed to do this? Yeah, we could see how it goes. So you can have a time right now. I just got to pick up my walking. We're good. Okay. All my life, I'm going to get that from the perfect period part of the book. Yeah, yeah, I think so. The big garden, <laughs> playing around for the kids. Yeah, I feel so different. Yeah, how do you feel? Uh, I usually feel the need to be moving all the time. I'm always going like I don't know some stupid shit all the time. I don't know how to describe it. Well, you've got a lot of energetic congestion in your body, so I can see that. Fidgeting and stuff all the time. Yeah, as you get rid of this, you'll be able to actually fully relax. You know. But, you know, it might take us, you know, my thing now, I got a much better idea of what, how I would work on him on the, the first treatment to me, it's, uh, it's do a bit of, bit of this, bit of that, you know, and I got a lot more of an idea, and I'd say each of his, um, you know, his feet, his hands, they all need a lot of detailed work, um, you know, I could, I could get him back, I could do another general one, or I could get him back and really focus now on his right foot or his left foot, you know, and, and spend an hour, hour and a half on the toes, and then fully release that leg, really, you know, and then do the next one in the next session, and then the next, and then his arm, you know, his right arm, his left arm. But, you know, I need to do a good job of a foot like that, I need a good hour and a half, two hours, you know, and sometimes I can only get three toes done in an hour and a half. But that's what I would suggest, you know, but, but again, we're just build, we're getting to know each other, building the bridge of trust, you know, Making sure he knows that I'm not going to over, you know, mm -hmm. overwork him. I'm, you know, trying to be emotionally supportive, encouraging him to let go, and you know, mm -hmm. getting him safe to space. deep breathe. Yeah, safe space. You know, he's getting to know me. I'm getting to know him. Mm -hmm. You know, 
going, okay. You know, he's just, he, you know, he's had some, somebody's told him to hold in his emotions, you know, yeah, yeah. and that's not doing him any good at all, you know. So too some aggressive. What's that? Too some aggressive. Yeah, yeah. So, like I say, it's not just like, ooh, physical. It's like, okay, we're working with him, you know? Again, deep breath. Funny, the side of my hip feels nice, but the front of my hip feels pain. I don't know what that's about. Yeah. So, let me tell you in here. Okay, so I often finish to just, I start with a head massage and then finish with one as well. And again, anything that's ready to move, I'll get rid of. But I'm not going to get caught up in something. Don't get, if it's not moving, go somewhere else. Okay, come back to it later. It's held somewhere. We may or may not know. It may be just psychologically held because it's emotional and the person's holding on, doesn't want to let go of that emotion. So we don't want to, just don't get caught up in trying to, you know, move, be flexible. Yeah. Have you had like more? You have to go more gentle, and it depends how long ago it is, and that sort of thing. But like recent, you know, you got to be very careful if it's recent surgery. But you could, you know, with a younger, healthier, even though he's tight, he's pretty healthy, you know. So I can work him quite hard. Yeah, in one sense, psychologically, you're fucked. But I mean, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll get you there. You know, physically, you know, your your body's fairly strong. Is what I'm trying to say. You know. Yeah, so can you still work on someone who's had injury? You know, like you know, a lot of people have shoulder injuries. And... Yeah, it depends on you know okay. how bad it is. Where any inflammation, we avoid. No. We go above and below an injury or an inflammation. Okay, so if they got like fully inflamed here, and you, you kind of don't want to work here, but you work, work the hand. Okay, so usually that's a good principle, above and below an injury. And then only, you might, after you've done that, ever so gentle on the, maybe, on the injury itself, or maybe not. Right? But we don't want to work over inflammation. We don't want to work over where there's been surgery, especially recent surgery, anything like that. All right, so again, we just, any more tension that's gonna come away nice and easy. And again, it just depended how long I'd have for that treatment. But usually I like for a first treatment, an hour is fine. An hour is too long if they're a red light. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh fuck. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that's when you, you got the clock up on the wall. And you, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but he's definitely not a red light. He's, he's like a green with a bit of yellow. The yellow is more just about himself. It's not, it's about, you know, you know, sort of getting to know himself and being comfortable with letting go and, you know, not having these stupid, you know, what I call stupid ideas about what it means to be a man, you know, right? <laughs> yeah. But you know, you got to be careful what you say to people sometimes, right? <laughs> so I tend to have just, you know, loose mouth, you know. Just, oh, this is what I think, yeah. <laughs> but I'm happy with that. Okay. But I think, you know, he's going to feel better. You know, hopefully he comes back, but if he doesn't, well, you know, what can you do, right? I don't kind of get attached. I just do the best I can for people. And, you know, if they appreciate it, they appreciate it, you know. So a little bit of, I'm going to finish off with just a little bit of like kind of rocking and shaking just again get that because he's got that kind of congestion all through his body and, and of energy build up, you know, and it's definitely like energy mixed with emotion, right? It's not physical. It's kind of not a, like just, ooh, I've been, you know, working out tension. This is, this is definitely, um, you know, emotional with, with a bit of energy. I'll just do a bit more belly bit. Yeah.
Well, the thing is, to, so we'll finish that, is, is it gives him something to think about now, right? Mm -hmm. Like, he, you know, he didn't know what, maybe he didn't quite know what it all meant. You know what I mean? Like, he's got a better understanding of what I'm going to do. And, and then he's got a chance to think, changing that yellow to a green for his own sake. Um, I remember one time I taught a course, I still remember the course, it was like 2001 uh, in Mwilumba, and it, it, there was a guy in the course that came for, because he was going to be, you know, he was a personal trainer, and he was all about using massage with personal training and working the muscles and everything. And then there was a girl in the course who had this fucking intense emotional release, and there was energy flying and, you know, all this, you know. And, and for him, it was like, whoa, you know, you can't do that to me, you know. I, but two years later, two and a half years later, he contacted me. I was living in Hawaii by that station. He's like, I've been thinking about what happened in that course every day, and I'm ready now. <laughs> he flew over to Hawaii, got a treatment from me, and he cried, and he had a huge release. Mm -hmm. But it took him a little while because mm -hmm. it was all, you know, new to his concepts. And, and, but he realized it was something very powerful, you know. Mm -hmm. And then when he was ready, that was it. So it's when people are ready. You can't just, this will be good for you, mm -hmm. you know. You can't be the green light for somebody else. You can be the green light for yourself. You can encourage, but the person has to make that decision. I want to let go of whatever it is that's creating this tension, move on, be a, a more true version of myself, um, more, you know, and get rid of this crap. They got to make that decision always, okay? So even if, though you might love somebody, you know, family or whatever, you know, people often make that, that kind of mistake. Oh, this will be good for you. You wouldn't believe what, you know, mm -hmm. it's like somebody who's converted to a new religion and they're trying to get everybody around them to convert, you know? Mm -hmm. um, you know so don't do that. You know, it's much better when people come to you, Hey, you know, mm -hmm. I want this, you know, you can talk to them about, it, but they got to make that decision always. I want to get rid of this tension, like the Alcoholics Anonymous, right? I'm an alcoholic and I want it, don't want to be those two things. But at least now he's got an idea what what this massage can do for him. Don't get up in a hurry. Now I would it's say, so yeah, <laughs> good. Yeah, I feel like I can feel cuts in my head and my feet that I couldn't feel before. Something weird. I feel really weird. Yeah. Anyway, that's cool. Thanks for that. <laughs>